Mason. It is over. We won. For now. Never better, amigo. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? No, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I would ain't going want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. Quick! Cure! What are you waiting for? Come on! I killed your girlfriend, poisoned Gotham in hell. <laughs> it's not even breakfast. <laughs> but so what? We all know you'll save me. Every decision you've ever made ends with death and misery. People die. I stop you. You'll just break out and do it again. <laughs> Think of it as a running No! Are you happy now? Do you want to know something funny? Even after everything you've done, I would have saved you. <laughs> you know, that actually is... 
pretty funny. Edward? I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irish woman. Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? In time, I. My mind is settled and my blood is cooled. Sail ho! Coming into the cove! <laughs> You're a good man, Edward. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father, too. Be dreaming what they do. Thought you were left behind. I'm gonna die alone out here. Drink some. Easy now. Okay, come on, let's get on here. Into the Jeep, come on. General, general, general. You always looked out for me, Paul. And I reckon you did today. Because there's only one thing that keeps you going on that long march. And that's having your brothers beside you. When history called, you answered. From all walks of life, you came to defend peace and freedom. I thank you, and the world thanks you. Wherever your path takes you, know this. You will always be amongst a brotherhood of humans.
you guys. Well, this is it, fellas. Zussman so wanted you to have it. And yeah, you'll need it more than me. You got a kiddo now. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah, you'll be fine. Gentlemen. Queens! Your prodigal son returns! <laughs> oh, are you gonna be okay? Gotta say bye to Zussman. Going home, Sergeant? I am home. What about you? You gonna re up? I've been away from Texas for a long time. You take care of him, boy. I will. When my son asks what I did, I'll tell him I fought with the first. And that crazy bastard Pearson. <laughs> crazy ain't the half of it. If you're ever in Chicago, <laughs> I'll get there. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll surprise you in Longview first. You're welcome any time. You know, when they captured us, it wasn't just our freedom that they took. Even though we were together, and we were alone, looking for any way to survive. But you, you could have gone home a hero. Why'd you come back? I saw that life. Just couldn't live it. To the end. To the end. The dream was different last night. This time we made it home, together. I can still hear the wolves paw. Sometimes I still see them coming. But you showed me how to fight them. So this belongs to you. Because the sacrifice you made taught me that a hero will risk it all to save his brother. And you'll always be both to me. Sir, you said you tested this. How? On myself, Damon. I had to see how the emulsion developed over its life cycle. So I injected myself with it to accelerate things. Oh my God. Dad, you saw what it did to humans and mercy. Dad, this tower's too unstable now. I'm sorry, Marcus. I'm not going to make it. It's okay. I'll carry you. Marcus, the emulsion developed faster in me because I forced it to. I had to find out how it reproduced. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. No. You are not going to die. It's too late, Marcus. Every cell in my body's breaking down. And this is going to happen to every contaminated cell on Seraph. It has to. No, <laughs> goddammit, I can't lose you again. I'm glad I was able to see you again, Marcus. Now go and live for me. Dad, go. He's gone. 
He's gone. He's gone. Hold your fire. Ah, oh, so pious and immoral, even now. Is that what you think? Your father always thought he had all the answers, but he had none. Nothing but clever ways to kill. The Hammer of Dawn. Jacinta. And now, this. And his arrogance finally killed him. Feel that? That's from Dom. And everyone else you killed, you bitch. Whatever it takes, I'm here. What's left, Anya? What have we got left now? Tomorrow, Marcus. 
We finally got it tomorrow. this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go. Get! <laughs> Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go! You're strong, Clem. You... you can do anything. But I'm little. Doesn't mean nothing. You go see past up, but... 
It's okay. My parents. It's so horrible. Uh, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now, you? Please. Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You can leave me. It's okay. You'll be just like them. It's okay. It won't be me. Grim, it's time to go. You gotta get out of here. Y you can come with me. No, honey. I can't. It's okay. Please. You have to go. Now. M maybe. Maybe. Maybe I shouldn't let you turn. I don't want you to have to do that. Shooting things. It changes you, sweetie. I don't want you to get used to it. Megan, first days we met. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. When I went out to rescue that boy, Glenn, we met a girl. She'd been bitten too. All she wanted was to not come back as a walker. I couldn't bring myself to give her the gun. I didn't want to see death then, and I know we've seen so much of it, but you shouldn't have to see it now. I'll go. I'll... I'll leave you. I'll go as fast as I can. And as safe as you can. Always be safe. Find Omid and Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? <laughs> yes. Good. They'll take good care of you. And Clem. Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also... What is it? No, don't worry. All right. I'll miss you. Me too. Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. 
We didn't know what to do. So... She says... Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. No, you don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear though, to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. Games, John. I assure you, this is no game. It seems that reports of my survival have been greatly exaggerated this is impossible oh i assure you it is how not how why you were never meant to come here we have our orders leave the city radio command from outside the storm wall they send in the cavalry we go home what happened here was out of my control was it none of this would have happened if you just stopped but on you marched and for what? We tried to save you. You're no savior. Your talents lie elsewhere. This is your fault, God you damn Stop it. right there, Lugo. He wouldn't listen. We didn't have a choice. He turned us into fucking killers. This isn't my fault. It takes a strong man to deny what's right in front of him. And if the truth is undeniable, you create your own. What the hell happened? I don't know. He just stopped moving. Walker, snap out of it. I get it. We have to choose. The truth, Walker, is that you're here because you wanted to feel like something you are not. A hero. Lugo! You left me to die! I'm here because you can't accept what you've done. It broke you. Colonel? Colonel, please. What's going on, Walker? It's Conrad. He did it. All of it. You needed someone to blame, so you cast it on me. You're a dead man. I know the truth is hard to hear, Walker, but it's time. You're all that's left, and we can't live this lie forever. I'm going to count to five, then I'm pulling the trigger. This is all in my head. Are you sure? Maybe it's in mine. What now? Everything. All this. It was your fault. If that's what you believe, then shoot me. Two. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. No one ever does. Three. It takes a strong man to deny what's in front of him. Stronger than you were. Whatever you say, Walker. No matter what happens next, don't be too hard on yourself. Even now, 
After all you've done, you can still go home. Lucky you. What now, sir? Huh? The men are asking. What do we do now? We complete our mission. And what mission would that be, sir? Just get me a cut. Tim. Radio? This is Captain Martin Walker. Requesting immediate evacuation of Dubai. Survivors. One too many. Hey. The hey, the deal is off, you hear me? Unstable. The deal is off! It's Give her fine. back! Hurry. Give her back! Fine, are you mad? Give her back, you son of a bitch! It's ready! Go! No! No, no, Shut no! Shut down the machine! No! Shut it Anna. down! Shut down the Anna. machine! No! Do it! Give me back my daughter! No! Anna! No. No. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Anna, I'm sorry. She's gone, Booker. Anna's gone. You shared this room with your regret for almost 20 years. Until one day, a man came to you you a chance of redemption. A chance for us to be together. I told you it works. We already know it works. The question is, where he is. You suppose he branded himself as some sort of penance? Hmm. Don't see the point. What's done is done. What's done will be done. I suppose the brand is his hair shirt, as he is ours. Wipe away the debt. Bring us the girl. Wipe away the debt. See, he's girl. starting to put his story together. Wipe away the You're quite fond of this theory of yours. He's manufacturing new memories from his old ones. Well, the brain adapts. I should know. Bring us I've girl. lived it. Booker, wake up. Booker, wake up. This is where it started. I sold you. I sold you. To your credit, you did try to weasel out of the deal. This is all Comstock's fault. What if I went back? Killed him before he did any of this? Things get set in motion. How would one know how far back to go? That's the only way to do it. Go back to when he was born, and I'll smother this son of a bitch in this crib. Are you sure this is what you want? I have to. It's the only way to undo what I've done to you. Booker DeWitt, are you ready to what be is born this? again? Why are, are we back here? This isn't the same place, Booker. Of course it is. I remember. Wait. Are you ready to leave behind all You're not. You're not. Who are you? You chose to walk away, but in other oceans, you didn't. You took the baptism, and you were born again as a different man. God, stop. It all has to end, to have never started, not just in this world, but in all of ours. 
Smother him in the crib. Smother. 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 Before the choice is made. Before you are reborn. And what name shall you take, my son? He's Zachary Comstock. He's Booker DeWitt. No. I'm both. Mm-hmm. <laughs>